So now we are in surgery at sea. If you look over here, you can see a doctor performing on a patient. And it was, it was very raw in them days. Very, very heavy, as you can see. But they were tough. Tough times. So here we go, surgery at sea. Surgery on pirate ships was even more crude and primitive than the surgery practiced by naval surgeons on warships. If a limb had to be amputated to prevent the onset of gangrene, it was not unusual for the carpenter to get to work with a saw. Mercury was used internally and externally for sympathies, but this would have been no benefit or effect. On long voyages, many lives were lost from the horrible effects of scurvy, which was caused by a lack of fresh fruit in the diet. There was no known cure for yellow fever, malaria or cholera, and thousands of seamen died of these diseases in the West Indies. Pirate weapons. A typical pirate ship was armed with between 20 and 30 cannons mounted on gun carriages. A single broadside from these was usually enough to pursue a merchant ship to surrender. Small swivel guns were used to slaughter seamen on the decks and grenades were hurled across as the pirate ship came alongside. Personal weapons included flintlock pistols, <laughs> long barrel muskets, boarding axes and knives. Some pirates used swords stolen from naval or military officers, but the favourite weapon was the cutlass because the short blade was easy to use in confined spaces on board ships. Pirate weapons, surgery at sea, Look at this illustration. Look at Paula and Andrew, our beautiful friends. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. See you on Danny's Doggy Vision tonight. Okay. You're probably going to see us again anyway. <laughs> There's the Mary Reed. She was a famous female pirate. And this is Anne Bonnie. Another famous. Do you have a turn now? And there's Anne Bonnie. 